How do Jamaica's real estate laws work together in the property transaction and development process? Published on November 7th, 2024. Comprehensive Guide, How Real Estate Laws Work Together in Jamaica. A handsome Jamaican man with a strong presence, dressed in a tailored navy blue suit, crisp white shirt, and patterned tie, stands confidently in a modern planning office, surrounded by maps and documents. He gestures emphatically as he explains the penalties for subdividing and selling land without approval, his eyes engaging and serious. The atmosphere is formal, yet intense, with a sense of gravity. When buying, selling, or developing property in Jamaica, several laws and acts ensure that the process is fair, environmentally safe, and legally sound. These laws work together in stages, from initial interest to final ownership and development. Step 1. Hiring a real estate agent. The Real Estate Dealers and Developers Act, 1987. When a client decides to buy or sell property, they often start by hiring a real estate agent. The Real Estate Dealers and Developers Act of 1987 regulates agents and developers, requiring them to be licensed and follow ethical standards. This law helps protect clients from fraud and ensures that agents operate transparently, providing the client with reliable representation throughout the process. Step 2. Zoning and Land Use Town and Country Planning Act, 1958. Once the client finds a property, it's essential to understand the land's allowed uses. The Town and Country Planning Act of 1958 regulates zoning and land use, ensuring that properties are used appropriately, whether for residential, commercial, or agricultural purposes. This act helps local planning authorities set rules about where people can build homes, businesses, and public facilities, ensuring communities grow in an organized way. Step 3. Negotiating the Sale Vendors and Purchasers Act The Vendors and Purchasers Act governs the negotiation phase. This act outlines the rights and responsibilities of both the seller and the buyer, ensuring that each party has clear information about the terms of the sale. This phase typically includes verifying property details, setting a price, and laying out conditions to prevent disputes. Step 4. Title Verification and Sale – Conveyancing Act after agreeing on the sale terms, the Conveyancing Act manages the legal transfer of the property. This act ensures the sale is legally binding, helping attorneys prepare documents, confirm clear title, and handle the paperwork that completes the transfer. The buyer's attorney verifies that the seller has the right to sell the property, ensuring there are no undisclosed claims on the title. Step 5. Registering the Title Registration of Titles Act, 1889 the Registration of Titles Act of 1889 is the next step where the new ownership is formally registered. The National Land Agency, NLA, oversees this process, recording the property in the buyer's name to secure their ownership rights officially. This registration is essential to prevent future disputes and protect the buyer's rights. Step 6. Development and Utilization Land Development and Utilization Act, 1966 if the new owner plans to develop the land, the Land Development and Utilization Act of 1966 helps prevent misuse of agricultural and other land. This act mandates that land designated for specific uses, like farming, should be maintained accordingly unless a change is approved. This regulation prevents prime agricultural land from being unnecessarily converted for other purposes. Step 7. Environmental Protection, Natural Resources Conservation Act, NRCA 1991 and NEPA. For any significant development, the Natural Resources Conservation Act, NRCA of 1991, requires environmental assessments to ensure the project won't harm Jamaica's ecosystems. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, working with NRCA, may require an Environmental Impact Assessment, EIA, if the project is large. NEPA also oversees compliance with additional acts. Watersheds Protection Act, 1963, protects water sources from development harm. Wildlife Protection Act, 1945 and Endangered Species Act, 2002, safeguards habitats and endangered species, controlling activities that could threaten Jamaica's biodiversity. Step 8. Coastal and Sensitive Areas, Beach Control Act, 1956. If the property is near the coast, the Beach Control Act of 1956 applies. 
This act regulates development near beaches and ensures the protection of Jamaica's coastline. NEPA also oversees this, ensuring that beachfront developments don't interfere with public access or harm marine life. Step 9. Urban Planning for Large Developments, Urban Development Corporation Act, 1968. For larger urban projects, the Urban Development Corporation Act of 1968 guides development in urban areas. The Urban Development Corporation, UDC, helps plan and coordinate projects that align with national urban goals, particularly in areas designated for housing, tourism, or economic growth. Step 10. Subdividing Land and Infrastructure. Local Improvements Act and Trespass Act, 1851. When subdividing a property, the Local Improvements Act ensures that infrastructure like roads, water, and sewage is adequately planned. The Act regulates the addition of essential utilities for new subdivisions, helping maintain community standards. Additionally, the Trespass Act of 1851 protects property boundaries, making it illegal for unauthorized individuals to encroach upon or interfere with another's property during construction. Step 11. Final Construction Plans and Building, Parish Council's Building Act. Before construction starts, the Parish Council's Building Act requires that all building plans meet local standards for safety and structural integrity. The buyer submits plans to the Parish Council, which reviews them for compliance with building codes, ensuring safe and legal construction. Step 12, Financial Transactions and Anti-Money Laundering. Proceeds of Crime Act 2007. The Proceeds of Crime Act of 2007 is essential in real estate transactions to prevent money laundering. POCA ensures that funds used to buy property are legal, requiring real estate agents and attorneys to report suspicious activities. This act adds a layer of security to the financial aspects of the transaction. Step 13. Gathering Data for National Statistics, Statistics Amendment Act 1984. Data about property transactions may be collected by STATIN, Statistical Institute of Jamaica, under the Statistics Amendment Act of 1984. This information helps Jamaica track trends in real estate and housing, informing national planning and economic policies. Step 14, Local Compliance and Final Approvals, Kingston City Corporation Act, 1923. For properties in Kingston, the Kingston City Corporation Act of 1923 ensures that urban development complies with city-specific regulations. The Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation oversees building inspections, ensuring that properties in Kingston meet all local standards before occupancy. Summary of the sequential process. Reda, 1987. Real Estate Agent Standards and Licensing. Town and Country Planning Act, 1958. Initial Zoning and Land Use Regulations, Vendors and Purchasers Act, Guides Negotiation and Sale Terms, Conveyancing Act, Manages Legal Transfer Documentation, Registration of Titles Act, 1889, Officially Registers New Ownership, Land Development and Utilization Act, 1966, Ensures Land Use Aligns with Designated Purpose, NRCA, 1991, and NEPA, Manages Environmental Protection and Development Impact, Beach Control Act, 1956, regulates coastal developments. Urban Development Corporation Act, 1968, guides larger urban projects. Local Improvements Act and Trespass Act, 1851, subdivisions and property boundaries. Parish Council's Building Act, ensures building standards compliance. POHE, 2007, oversees financial transactions for anti-money laundering. Statistics, Amendment Act, 1984 collects real estate data for national planning. Kingston City Corporation Act 1923 ensures local compliance in Kingston. Each act serves a unique role, guiding every phase from selecting an agent, negotiating and transferring ownership, ensuring environmental and building compliance, and verifying financial legality. Together, they ensure that real estate transactions and developments in Jamaica are secure, legally compliant, and environmentally responsible. This guide provides a general overview of real estate laws and processes in Jamaica and is intended for informational purposes only. It is not legal advice. For specific guidance, consult a qualified legal professional or the relevant Jamaican authorities to ensure compliance with the most current regulations and procedures.